There's going to my leg. Solid wood. That looks like maple. It was damaged by something. It was, it's all dead. How you do it? Two trips, one trip, one trip. Mm, Shalama Kazoo. The fire's going. my trapping block. Well.
choke up on it, it really makes a difference. It gives you a lot more uh, control, actually. Choke up on it. That's what I call some split wood. Okay, so we have a nice supply of wood now. It's all split up. Fire's going. Some of this on there. She's going over here. It's probably a little wet, so it'll get going, it'll smoke a little, whatever. So for the chair, I'm going to take these two pieces of wood right here and pound them into the back right here. Nice if they stood up straighter. Yeah, stood up. I'm gonna make them stand up straight a little bit. I couldn't figure out my chair. Like that. I'm gonna pound them in and I'll be able to lean back right here. Maybe I'll make it bigger so that if I ever had a, a guest. Got this piece too. See how this turns out. I'm going to chamfer the ends so that, how's that going to work? One end's going to be pointed more and one end's just going to be chamfered a little bit.
is a big one. Where's the big one? Where's the big one? Yeah, this is quite big. Oh well, I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna use it. She's a big one. Good idea is to put your axe cover back on your ask mask, ask, ask mask, axe mask. Okie dokie. not bad it's not bad I will put another one right here in case I ever have company another one right here I'm gonna go get some more and put them all the way across. Not today. I have to think about these things. However, there is a surprise up here for you, and I'm gonna go get it. I'm gonna go get the surprise. Stay tuned. blanket to sit on from a canteen hot dog fork Sasquatch bushcraft on our adventure 
good times. Good times, good times. Okay, so now we're going to have some coffee for today. Instant es espresso coffee. This is good coffee. It's better than that Nestle stuff. Nescafe. Better than that. Two hot dogs. It's garbage now. I'll pick it up. I don't leave any traces of myself up here except for this fort. Fortress. It's a fortress, really. The hot dog's going. Oh, yeah. So, how do you guys like my seat? Not bad, huh? How do you like my banner? Not bad, huh? Yeah. The seat could be a little bit wider now that I have these here. It's like I'm on the edge. I have to put another row across. It's not bad. Got a nice fire going. Paper bag. Got it going on. Okay hey guys, so I'm gonna use my solo stove inside that fire pit to make my coffee. Not the stove itself, the canteen. Oops. The stove will go over here. Here's the canteen, I don't need the cover. to add water. Got my handy dandy Stanley canteen water container. A couple cups. There's always stuff in there. Always. I can only give about half because I typically have a tendency to spill my stuff not even half left. A few sips left. Okay, typically I would brew the water first, then add the coffee. But today I'm going to add the coffee when it's cold. This says just use a teaspoon. So any more than that, you're making it strong. I have a spork, Snow Peak Titanium Spork. Swiss Miss, that's what you want to add to your coffee to make it the perfect bushcraft coffee. Swiss Miss and coffee. Oh yeah. You can add one or you can add two, whatever you want. I'm going to add one. One's good enough. I will stir. Then I will set it in the coals of the fire. How will I get it out of the coals? Hmm. Okay, let's do this. Actually, it's not a good idea to put tin in your fire. It's stupid. Never coming out. What am I doing? It's got to be higher and it's got to be up here.
cocoa in there, we got our fire over here, we got our hot dogs over there. Looks like we're having a bushcraft R&R &R adventure after all. What a nice day. Ooh, my water's boiling quite quite a lot here. I gotta get it out of there. Uh, guys, um, oh shit. Some live action panic going on here. Bushcraft on our adventure. The coffee's real good. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Live well and be happy.